Good morning YouTubers, how are you doing? It's Ronin Steel here with another quick silver update. As you can see, I am somewhere sunny, Cyprus in fact. Uh, currently still on my honeymoon. Um, I couldn't resist um, buying a little bit of silver when I was out here, as I found um, a coin shop or a bullion dealer uh, in the local town of Paphos. Um, so I thought I'm going to have to go up and see um, there we go, let's focus on this, if we can get a better picture, there we go. Um, I just purchased um, four uh, Canadian maple leaves. Um, I only purchased four because out here there is a 19% tax, and obviously as I'm buying from silver to go, it's tax-free. So I didn't buy too much, I did explain that to the guy um, why. <laughs> well, okay, fair enough, so no problems. However, it was it was really interesting actually to go and buy from an actual bullion dealer because I've always done it online, no real contact with the people, um, and then obviously going into the shop, you know, straight away you, they sit you down, you get a you get a drink of virtually anything you want, um, you know, they make you teas, coffees, espressos, whatever, sit and chat to you before they even talk about what you want to purchase, um, and it, it was pretty good. It was owned by um, a Russian fella called Nikolai, I'm pretty sure it's um, kjdgold.com, www.kjd.com gold, um, and and, it's, and I think there was another um, Russian girl there called Victoria, very nice indeed. Um, but it was really quite good just to talk to other people about you know the sort of stacking community and what else, and you know hear somebody else that sort of thinks the same way we do, which I found um, pretty good actually, because the guys that I work with and what not aren't interested, they'll, they'll more than likely just put their money in the bank and you know, just forget about it but they made an interesting point uh, and one of the points was um, because I was looking for some interesting coins that I didn't see because they had some coins on the wall um, behind as a chart and I had seen some Russian coins which I hadn't actually seen before um, and he was basically explaining that due to the current crisis in Greece he said they had literally been sold out um, they had nothing they had virtually nothing because because of the capital controls in Greece why with the banks closing and whatnot, people that had any sort of money or cash were trying to do transactions online to buy gold from them but their transactions were being cancelled because it was going outside of Greece Although Cyprus isn't far away, it's you know it's very very close. They were basically jumping on a boat um, and coming and buying silver and gold directly from them um, because they couldn't get anything, anything in country whatsoever. They couldn't get to their money from the banks. You know, literally these people, and it's quite funny because these people. He was telling me a guy came and literally bought ten kilos of gold. This guy must have spent hundreds of thousands of euros on gold and and it's funny that these people that have got all this money are leaving it to the last minute until capital controls I mean they wake up one morning and you can't get to your bank so whatever money he's had he's come over here and uh, Nikolai was saying how dangerous it is because he's going to have to get back into that country now with that, that gold those assets they could very well he said be seized off him and given to the banks or taken to the government so you know, this, you know, it just, it sort of made me think, you know, I think we're doing the right thing with silver and gold and stacking and whatnot, and I'm going to sort of try and double my efforts as soon as I'm back. Um, because if things do go wrong with Greece, Greece, which they already have done, you know, I can see Spain and then Italy going next, which is going to cause massive repercussions um, throughout Europe. And could potentially well affect us in the UK as well and um, so it'll probably have global implications which you know if these guys that are able to buy 10 kilos of gold are running to another country to buy gold because they can't get their hands on anything else then it just shows <laughs> we're doing the right thing guys you know I mean we're, we're stacking every month this this guy this, these are sort of guys that have got a lot of money and they're coming and spending everything they've got to try and preserve some sort of wealth to see them through this crisis so but that, that was really good I quite enjoyed my time 
uh, in the shop there. Then of course they, um, they they got some coins out and whatnot, and and, and I paid for these. Um, then we chatted a little bit more, um, but it was it was more just to share the fact that um, it was a nice change of actually going in to the shop, um, meeting other people. There was an American guy come in as well. He, um, he bought I think six six ounces of American Buffalo gold coins. Um, which I hadn't seen before either. He bought them and he bought two silver maples, um, and he was just saying the same. Yeah, it's 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 nice. Just get it where you can get it. Um, I don't know what it's like in the states. I'm assuming there's no issues, but um, he had said he'd bought some when he was in Ireland as well. So it's quite good to come across these people face to face because um, I know we all see each other in the community, but you're ne- you're never actually dealing with somebody direct face to face. Um, or talking to like-minded people, which was very interesting. Um, so that's me for my update. Um, I know it's not much; it's only it's only four ounces. Um, but and again, like I say, I wasn't I wasn't going to go and buy a whole tube of the stuff at nineteen percent tax. No thanks. I'll, I'll get an, uh, I'll get a bigger update when I get back from the UK. Sorry, I've rambled on a bit here as well. Um, but I just thought I'd share it. It was it was really nice to um, sort of talk to these people face to face, and I'll. Um, it was pretty good. I mean, it did go on about the corruption as well. He said there's quite a lot of corruption in this game. Um, you know, he's a, a billion dealer and he wanted to buy some, uh, bring some Russian coins to the market as well. He had gone to the bank who could give him authority to release it. Um, and the guy basically told him he would need to pay him. So he would need to basically buy the guy off to be allowed to buy these. Um, which he said there was no point because there's not much of a markup on these so he would basically be losing money by the time he sold them either that or he would have to put a hefty premium on them which is not what he wanted to do so it, it was nice to see some other points of view on it so that's that so we'll give you one little final look at what's going on around here with that there you go there's somebody out paragliding which me and the, the new wife will be doing probably tomorrow and I think we're going to do some jet skiing as well um, Plenty, plenty to look at here. Um, beautiful, beautiful country. If you ever get a chance to come and visit Cyprus, um, go for it. It's, uh, it's cracking. And I couldn't show, not show you this. Here's some little grey goose. There we go. Very good. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, hope to hear from you all soon. Uh, and I'll speak to you when I get back to the UK. Cheers, guys.